Hello, my name's Simon, and I'm getting soaked to the skin. Do you ever get caught out wearing the wrong clothes for the weather? Well, today, I was sure it was going to be hot, so I put my summer clothes on, and now the rain goes right through them. Hello, my name's Ellis, and I'm dry. I thought it would rain, so I put on my waterproof mat and my welly boots. They said it would be hot. It's not. I'm getting very wet. I bet. You're just wrong, my dear old fella. Better share my red umbrella. If you'd look up at the sky, you'd be dry. <laughs> That's better. I knew the sun would shine. It's fine. I'm feeling much too hot. I'm not. You better take off that big Mac and load you on. Lie right back. If you're careful in the sun, it's fun. The sky looks very white. That's right. Oh, makes me shiver, makes me shake. Snowflakes. Uh, there's an icy wind blowing. Goodness me, it's really snowing. If we dress up for this storm, oh, we'll get warm. Ooh. That's better. The weather today is so changeable. You can't tell whether it's going to be hot or cold or wet or dry. I suppose we should have looked at the weather forecast. Long ago, people used to forecast what the weather would do by watching the sky and making up sayings. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Grey mists at dawn, the day will be warm. People who lived in the country noticed that when animals behaved in a certain way, there would often be rain. Now, a couple of the cows be lying down. That means it's going to rain. But... Most of them are standing up, so we might have sunny spells later. <laughs> I wonder if he's right. Let's take a look at the weather forecast and see what John Ketley says. What the weather is likely to be. And tomorrow is going to be fine and dry in all parts of the British Isles, with plenty of warm sunshine. So if you're planning a picnic or a trip to the seaside, you can leave your umbrellas at home. John, how do you predict what the weather will be? Well, Alice, we use scientific ways. The sky can tell us a lot about the weather, so we send up special weather balloons which measure which way the wind is blowing and how much water there is in the air. We also send satellites up way above the Earth so they can send us pictures of the weather. And, you know, we have people all over the world measuring how much rain has fallen and telling us what the weather is doing in faraway places. Then we put all the information into our computer and it tells us what the weather is likely to be. Do you always get it right? Not always, I'm afraid, but very often we do get it right. And that helps the farmers look after their crops and warn ships about storms at sea. And of course, helps you and me to plan what kind of clothes to wear tomorrow. If you would like to find out about the weather where you live, you don't need to use weather balloons or satellites. Simon's visiting South Cot Lower School, where they run their own weather station. I wonder what the weather's like today. Good morning. Here's the weather for today, the 32nd of maybe, 19 never. Whether the weather be fine, whether the weather be not, whether the weather be cold, whether the weather be hot, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. The sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray! The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out today. Now we're we're keeping weather records. Hip 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 hooray! The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out today. How warm was it today? 22 degrees. How strong is 
the wind today. Do light things move more than heavy things? rain falls in a week. Ah, there you are. Right, Nicola, you put your rain collector underneath this tree. Do you think it's going to work well? No. Why? Because there is no juice stuff in it. Exactly. And they have. Right, Emma, you've got your rain collector right in the middle of the open. Do you think it would work well? Yes, because the rain could walk, just fall straight in without any, anything near it from stopping it. So, did you enjoy finding out about the weather today? Yes! Our story today is about a man who never enjoyed the weather, whatever it was like. His name was Grumbling Gordon. Mm. Whatever the weather did, Gordon grumbled. On Monday, the sun shone. The sky turned a deep blue. There wasn't a single cloud. Leonora came to call. It's lovely weather for a picnic in the park. Coming, Gordon? But when they got there, Gordon sat in the shade and grumbled. Ooh, it's too hot. I'm all sticky and thirsty. Mm. And he went home. On Tuesday, it rained and rained. There were huge puddles in the street. Leonora came to call. She wore a big shiny yellow mac and gum boots. It's lovely weather for splashing in the puddles. Coming, Gordon? But when they got outside, Gordon stood under a tree and grumbled. It's too wet. The rain's trickling down my neck. And he went home. On Wednesday, the wind blew. Leonora came to call. It's lovely weather to fly a kite. Coming, Gordon? But when they'd climbed the hill, Gordon pulled his hat down over his eyes and grumbled. Oh, it's too windy. It's blowing everything every way. Hmm. And he went home. On Thursday, the sun the wind and the rain clouds met. They were sick of Gordon's grumbling. They decided to teach him a lesson. On Friday, the wind blew. Did Gordon like it? No. Guess what he did? He grumbled. Oh, it's too windy. I wish the wind would stop. Do you really? Said the wind. All right, Gordon, if that's what will make you happy. And it stopped. Good, said Gordon. I ate the wind. Then a very curious thing happened. Everything went still. A big black cloud stopped right above Gordon. The world went very, very quiet. Then big drops of rain began to fall onto his head. Did Gordon like it? No. Guess what he did? He grumbled. Oh, it's too wet. I wish the rain would stop. Do you really? Said the rain cloud. All right, Gordon, right. if that's what will make you happy. And it stopped, and the sun began to shine. Good. Said Gordon. I ate the rain. Then a very curious thing happened. The sun shone and shone and shone 
everything began to dry up. First the puddles dried up. The flowers began to wilt and die because there was no rain to help them grow. Then the rivers dried up and the fish began to die because there was nowhere for them to live. Then the sea dried up and there was no water left at all. It got hotter and hotter. Did Gordon like it? No. Guess what he did? He grumbled. Oh, it's too hot. I wish the sun would go away. How oh, do you? Said the sun. All right, Gordon, if that's what will make you happy. And it went away. Good. Said Gordon. I ate the sun. Then a very curious thing happened. It began to get dark. It got darker and darker and colder and colder. It grew so dark that Gordon couldn't see at all. He quickly pulled out his torch. The lightning saw him. I can do that, it said, and it flashed and zigzagged across the sky. Gordon began to feel very sorry for himself. He began to cry. The rain cloud saw him. I can do that, it said, and great drops of rain began to fall like tears. Did Gordon like it? No. Guess what he did? He grumbled. Mm. The thunder heard him. I can do that, it said, and it grumbled and rumbled and grumbled until Gordon had to cover his ears. Stop it! Stop that awful grumbling. As he said this, the thunder and lightning stopped. The sun came out again. It shone onto the raindrops falling from the cloud. And suddenly, all the drops began to glisten and sparkle. Some turned red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some blue, some indigo and some violet. It was a rainbow. On Saturday, Leonora came to call. Coming out, Gordon. It's lovely weather. Just the weather for having a good time, smiled Gordon. Come on, I'll race you to the playground. And he never grumbled about the weather again. Well, hardly ever. <laughs> Ready to join in with our song? It's called Up in the Air. Up, 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 up in the air. What can I see high above me? Up, 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 up in the air. Way up high in the sky. Up, 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 up in the air. What can I see high above me? If you like